Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some more updates on the eruption. And this time, we're looking at a lava wall 2.0. Now, a construction site has been launched south of Galingadalar, and they're going to be building a new lava wall that they're hoping will reduce the likelihood or perhaps significantly delay the lava flow going down into Natahai. And that's, you know, the valley that is leading to the road. And it was pushed out to the news, news wires and all that from a press release from the National Commissioner of Police's Civil Protection Department. Now, the decision on this came after a committee decided to do this second wall, and it was all sparked when the lava went over the hiking trail, as you can see in the photo here, and went into the valley. So they're hoping that these measures and this four meter wall will either slow down or stop the lava from flowing continuously through the valley. But again, we all kind of know what happened to the last wall. Somewhat successful and somewhat more of a test from what I read. But it'll be interesting to see exactly how this works out because there's a lot of different lava paths going down towards this valley. So who knows? The next thing I want to take a look at is a bunch of seismometers Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but 500 of them have been installed in the Hengith area. And this is the largest and densest network of meters that have been installed in Iceland. Now, they were installed by a bunch of different companies on a project that is part of this Deepin project, which is intended to study the roots of geothermal systems and gather knowledge that can be utilized when deeper holes are to be drilled during geothermal utilization. So I'm not exactly sure what this whole project is it is the deep in project and it's a the fund is a joint project of several european countries in addition to the united states which provides regular funding for geothermal research such as this deep in project so i thought it was really interesting that they're throwing all of these measurement devices in this area now i'm going to show you on google maps exactly where this is so we have reykjavik over here in this big built-up area and then you're taking this main road, so it's number one, which is the ring road, down towards Kvelgeli. And it's in between here that they've installed all of these meters. Now, in relation to where the volcano is now, the volcano is down over here by Grindavik. And so it's, it's along this same system of seismic activity that's been occurring recently. So that's all the news I got for you right now. I thought it was very interesting. All of these seismometers that have been put in place, you can see all of them here. <laughs> and then on top of that, the lava wall that they're building. I thought it was, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. Who knows? But that's it for today. <laughs> quick video, quick updates, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, thank you so much for listening and watching.